Hello guys, uh, in this video tutorial we will be talking about the DNA transformation process and several experiments to prove the DNA transformation process existence. DNA transformation is a process by which DNA can be transferred into bacteria. During rapid growth the cell membrane of E. coli has hundreds of pores called adhesion zones. Now you can see in this picture these are the adhesion zones. Now the cell membrane itself is made up of lipid molecules that have negatively charged uh, phosphates as you can see in the outer layer. Okay. Even though the adhesion zones are physically large enough to admit small loop of DNA, the negatively charged phosphates on the DNA helix are repelled by those of the lipids. Okay. So this negative charge DNA will be repelled uh, because of the negative charge of this phospholipid uh, of the phosphate group that are present in these lipids. Researchers use a com combination of factors to make a bacterial cell capable of taking up new DNA. Theoretically, calcium ion uh, from added calcium chloride can interact with this negatively charged uh, DNA and creating the electrostatically neutral situation. Now if we add calcium it will bind with this and they can create this situation. Now lowering the down the temperature con con congeals uh, 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 congeals of uh, uh, the lipid membrane, stabilizing the negatively charged phosphates and make them easier to shield. Now, lowering temperature will he will help to minimize the movement of lipid. Thus, by making this uh, lipid movement minimized, uh, calcium can interact with these uh, uh, lipids and they can shield this lipid much more easily. And also, calcium will shield uh, the negatively charged uh, region of DNA. Now, a rapid rise of temperature or heat shock then creates a temperature imbalance on either side of the bacterial uh, membrane and sets up a current with one of the ionic shield in place. The DNA can then be swept through the adhesion jo zone. That's how uh, we can add, uh, make this adhesion possible. Now, uh, the DNA can easily be uptaken inside the cell through these adhesion zones. Now, adhesion zones are made up with several different protein complexes which will be uh, organized with each other to form a complex structure, channel-like structure through which DNA can enter into, into the cell. Now, this uh, heat shock uh, is uh, generated er, or uh, usually used for the uptake of the DNA uh, in artificial systems. But uh, in most of the time, uh, this uh, heat shock thing or this heat shock uh, or most of the time this stress or some kind of stress can do this job instead of heat shock uh, situation in those cases uh, it, this can be uh, sonication uh, not slight sonication or uh, radiation like things okay so they can create pores in the membrane and then finally can disrupt the structure and uh, help to uptake the DNA okay but uh, the addition of calcium is really important because it will shield the negatively charged regions okay that's it and I hope it will help you thank you